look at a cross-section of adopters and say that in any other shelter situation, those animals would not have been able to be available for adoption, whether that was because of time, expense, uh, care needs that just weren't able to be met at other shelters. And Lakeland Animal Shelter is different in that because we have that adoption guarantee, we say to that animal, no matter what your needs are, we will work with you and care for you until you're adopted. The consequences of that is it's very costly and it, it can amount to a lot of time as well. Where we previously lived, we donated at a shelter and we walked dogs. And when we moved to Walworth County, we wanted to continue to do this. So then we came here and took a tour. I came first to check it out and uh, stuff, and I said, I really have a need here, you know. So, so then, <laughs> so then uh, I came back, and we came to donate cat food, and we wanted to sign up to become members. And they gave us the newsletter, and so we went home. We read the newsletter, and of course there was a letter in there to Santa Claus about Ned. He was here two years at the shelter and with a lot of a lot of skin problems and they tried several different vets. If you look at all this hair back here, just, there was nothing here. It was all just skin, you know, and now it's just nice and thick. We know that if Lakeland hadn't taken care of Ned the way they did, we wouldn't have someone to fill our hearts after we lost our other two boys. And now we think about them, but we don't cry. We smile because we've got Ned in our home now. One of the things that I appreciate most about Ned's story is that Ned's story, although unique, being that Ned is unique, is not unique to our shelter. Um, Ned, when he came to us, had a lot of medical needs. And what we've seen over the last couple years is not just um, Basically, the number of animals that have come into us hasn't necessarily increased, but their needs have, have increased. So that the average time and expense that goes into each animal and uh, what's needed in order to get them available for adoption has gone up dramatically in the last couple years. But it was important to us as a no-kill adoption guarantee facility, we made a promise to Ned that as long as he wasn't going to give up, we weren't either. And we didn't and found an answer and he found a new home. And this is a beautiful place, and they need all the help they can get to make lives like Ned happy. Our monthly membership program, the goal for that is to be more of a sustaining membership that is somewhat passive, so that there's less time that's being spent towards raising funds through events and efforts like that and more direct care for the animals. Well, meanwhile, the, the monthly members are sustaining the fact that they support that we have an adoption guarantee and we're keeping those animals and caring for them until they're adopted. We had a cat for almost two years that had come into us as a stray and as time went on and we placed her up for adoption we realized that even in an amazing environment like this she just was not comfortable here and she did not like other animals and it was going to take a really 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 long time for us to find a, a great match for her. And sure enough just after a few hours of her settling in my office she opened up, we could pet her, we could brush her. We had constant daily battles over my office chair and my desk. I am so pleased that um, Miss Alexandra the Great came to this animal shelter and that you've taken care of her because she was here waiting for me to adopt her the day that I walked in and had no idea that I was going to be adopting 
an animal that day, and of course, she is now a happily part of my life. And although it took us two years to find her a home, we were still able to find a fantastic home for a 10-year-old cat, and she has been given a life that she might have never seen if she ended up anywhere else. No age is too old. Mickey came into the shelter at age 14 as a stray, and he came to my home as a foster dog. The amount of time that an animal stays here um, depends, and uh, they can stay here as long as they need to until we find the perfect forever home for them. So when you see a dog like Mickey, uh, who is 14 years old, and know that in any other shelter a dog like him probably would not have made it. But because of um, the policies in our shelter, um, animals like Mickey are given a second chance, and, and I'm happy to be a part of that, and I hope you will be too. There are giving categories that range from $9 to $94, but they could pick their own as well. And it's, it's simple, they could do it online, it's through the credit card, through their checking account. We have teenage members, we have um, senior citizen members, and we have everything in between. That sustaining membership is something that just is invaluable and we hope to have it grow and that we could care for more and more animals like Ned and Mickey and the others. Recently we became sustaining members and that just means that every month a certain amount of money from us goes to the shelter to support the Lakeland Animal Shelter. Um, instead of just making an annual donation, which we always do at the end of the year anyway, but um, this way there's a reliable steady stream of income going into the shelter from us and other sustaining members on a regular basis. So it's something that they can count on and they know that this income is coming in and that they can continue to operate the way they need to operate. It doesn't take much. If a thousand people gave ten dollars, it would be wonderful, you know? But we've got to make it work because they need us really, really badly.